Well, he may have been the boss, the chief constable of Greater Manchester, but here at Greater Manchester Police's headquarters, all that people want to talk about today is the man they knew, the person, the friend. I turn round, and it was Mr Todd. Um, so we get our food, and he says, do, do you mind if, we, uh, if I sit with you? And that, at the time, that was you know, unheard of, the chief constable sitting you know, with rank and file. So we sat in the canteen... We heard from one police constable who won a bravery award and he describes how he found himself simply having dinner with the chief constable of Greater Manchester Police. It was just like having dinner with a friend, uh, openly chatting about what he wanted the vision for Manchester. Uh, television, uh, Manchester United Football Club, uh, just a normal person. The next evening was a bit more formal. One of the things that comes across from talking to Michael Todd's colleagues is this, whether he was dealing with the most senior officers or office workers, what he did was put people at their ease. And I just felt that he just came over as such a human person, really, and just so personable that I instantly felt relaxed um, and just came away the impression that he was a very, very nice man. Now, we've heard over and over from Michael Todd's colleagues how he did like to turn out for normal operational policing duties. Now, many of these were serious incidents, but they were not without their moments of humour, according to one colleague. He just turned up at the nick. It was a bit of a nightmare for some of the bosses, I think, really. But, you know, he turned up and said, right, who am I going out with? We then went on the raid, and I was partnered with him. We went up to a bedroom to uh, a suspect. The intelligence was that there was a possibility of uh, he had access to firearms, and we end up struggling on the floor with this person, and then we find that he's had a knife. Um, he gets up and he starts shouting at everyone, and starts uh, lambasting everyone in the room, and the chief says, do me a favour, just shut up for one minute. And the fellow went... Who the hell do you think you are? The chief constable? And he went, I am actually. And it literally took the wind out of this person's sails. And we went back to the custody office and he was bragging to everyone back at the custody office how he'd been locked up by the chief constable. 